I want to shoot this video of this new do-it-yourself power supply that I came up with while making the CUO GANs. Okay, this is a, uh, a step-down buck converter module with a multimeter, and the uh, circuit board is inside this plastic box. I got the input power coming in on this side, and that's just a simple, I'm going to unplug it now. It's just an ordinary 12-volt, uh, uh, 1-amp uh, AC adapter, and this uh, circuit board will accept any input voltage between 5 and 32 volts. And uh, if I want, I can even hook up this uh, laptop uh, power supply. It is 19 volts, and uh, I can show it right now. I'll just uh, plug it in. So we'll unplug this one here. We'll plug this one in here. And uh, so I get the same amount of voltage coming out of it as I did with the 12 volt one. And uh, you can just press these buttons and you can display like that. For example, that's the uh, input voltage, 19.3 volts. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to unplug this again. I'm going to put back that other one just to show. I'm, I'm only showing this because uh, you can use a variety of uh, input voltage input voltages that you know from common household items like a like a. AC adapter. Okay, so this one. Okay, it's still got an output voltage of 1.5 volts, and the input voltage on this one is 12.3. So, the reason I like this particular power supply is it's a lot more precision than this older one that I have a previous video on. They both have step-down buck converters, but this one has uh, this older one has uh, analog uh, input control. And I could only get it as low as 1.4 volts. I couldn't get it any lower. And this one has digital input control. And I could get this down as low as a tenth of a volt. So if I want, I can set it, for example. I can uh, set this, excuse me, I'm gonna get back here. I'm gonna set that down to zero. So yeah, now here, I got it set for a half a volt. And I can even get it down lower. I get it down to four tenths of a volt, three tenths, two tenths one-tenth of a volt. There it is at one-tenth of a volt. And so this has a lot of precision. So that's the reason why I wanted this, because I, I needed the, the precision uh, for what I was trying to do. Okay, I'm going to set it back again. Okay, so anyway, the way this is wired up is the, uh, the input power comes in on this side of the board, and the output comes out this side of the board. And there's screw terminals here for the input, and there's screw, a set of screw terminals for the output. And it's got a uh, uh, positive and negative input, and it's got red and black wires here. So the black wire is negative, and the red wire is uh, positive. And it's got the similar wires on this side. Now, I got the red wire connected directly to the positive output, and I got the negative output, the black wire. It goes out, out of the box, and it goes into the multimeter right here into this... Uh, common input and then it's got the red wire coming out of this other part connection on the uh, multimeter and it comes back into the box and it's soldered directly to this black uh, terminal right here this is the negative terminal so in order to measure uh, uh, current the multimeter has to be connected in series to the output uh, one of the output leads so that's the way it has to be connected and the reason I like this uh, do-it-yourself power supply is because, number one, it's pretty inexpensive, it's easy to make, and the other thing is I can see voltage and I can see current all at the same time here. So my goal on this uh, CWO GANS was to get right down to somewhere around 3 or 4 milliamps. I didn't want any more than that because uh, I found that with, uh, like, more current it I, I didn't get the result that I wanted with it and it's coming out pretty good so anyway I thought I would share this do-it-yourself power supply and, and I hope you like the video so that's the end of the video